and basically the same process as with Vista so just let this run through and once this is done um, you pretty much installed Vista in Windows 7 so I'm just gonna let this run through and then we'll see exactly what the screen looks like once it's done All right, Windows 7 completed the process and it's a lot faster installing then Windows, Windows Vista took only about um, 30 minutes for it to install so we're just gonna wait for it to complete this process and we go starting up services and that's it process okay so the process of installation is complete so now you see the menu with uh, Windows 7 and Microsoft Windows Vista as the two operating system options and you could choose between one or the other now um since Windows 7 was the last operating install operating system installed it's now the default option selected and you can choose not to have that as a default option selected and to do that there's a program called easy bcd that you could download from uh, download.com or you could search for their website and download it from there um, that can allow you to change the default operating system uh, now there's another way to do it but uh, I'm not too sure how to access the uh, Windows Vista or Windows 7 boots uh, boot manager because it's not as easy as it was in Windows XP so instead of you know going through all that trouble I just saved myself the trouble by using easy easy BCD and anyway, let's put into Windows 7 and um, see the animation here has been changed to get a starting windows and then the, the lights come together and that's it um, I don't know if I have an internet connection right now because I probably have to install drivers but let's see alright Windows 7 boot up Okay, so preparing for first use. Okay. And there we go. Same thing as um, Windows Vista previously. I'm just going to use the same username. Computer name limits. And I'll use passwords. Uh, product key. Oh, um, that's something I actually forgot. So I'm just gonna click next. I'm gonna have to look for the product key later and put that into the computer. Uh, so yeah, Eastern time. Dates correct, times correct. Next. Alright, this is pretty cool right here. It found my my Wi-Fi card, so I'm just gonna connect to that. I'm gonna put in my password. Excuse, give me a second here. home network yeah that's taking 
few seconds there. All right, there we go. Finalizing settings. So you gotta wait for that to go through. Okay. Um, just wait for this to complete. So, uh, okay, so here we are. Uh, Windows 7 is completely installed. We now have two operating systems and uh, and options to do boot. All right. Um. So I'm going to download um. Easy BCD, so I could show you how that works. So go download.com and and Easy BCD. Okay, so that's the first option there. So click download now and select click OK download file and um, since I don't want to download it to my computer so I'm just going to run it directly from the website. So run, let that complete the process. Click yes. Okay. All right. So click next. I agree. Uh, just have the default options selected. You could select tweak VI, but I don't tweak this thing in any way. So. I don't worry about that. So next and close run easy BCD. Uh, so once easy BCD loads, it loads this uh, screen. You want to go down to change settings, and right here it says default OS. I'm going to change that to Microsoft Windows Vista. Uh, you can change the bootloader timeout which means on uh, the time it takes before it boots the default OS but uh, I'll leave it at 30 seconds and um, so you just click save settings and that's it you're done and uh, now you have Windows Vista as your default boot OS uh, you want to run Windows 7 then you, um, you once it comes up to that option you select Windows 7 as needed here you can also change the name of the operating system like if you want to make it like Windows Microsoft Windows Vista Home Premium you could type that in here or you could type whatever you want just select the OS and you could change the name and what that does is when you get to the boot selection it's gonna show whatever name you changed it to and so with that we're basically done there's nothing else to do right now except to start installing drivers which I'm sure you guys know how to do um, uh, by the way I forgot to do something at the beginning which was to download the SW setup folder which is usually in the uh, on the C drive when you first get your computer now in that SW setup folder it contains all the drivers for the computer but since I didn't do that, what I'll have to do is now go to the HP's website and download each driver individually and then reinstall it. So with that, I've shown you how to do a dual boot of Windows 7 and Windows Vista. If you have any more questions, uh, you could put that.